honor for me to be here. Um, thanks for Tony. Uh, thanks for Joycey and the uh, MIT Enterprise Forum uh, invite me to come here. Uh, it's really nice to see so wonderful uh, forum and the competition. Uh, I remember last day night um, during the reception party, I talked with Joycey. Uh, in China, it's kind of a big change now. Everyone know that before the domestic national company is the best one. Then international uh, giant company is the best one. Like I uh, joined Microsoft when I just after graduated from Tsinghua University. But actually now it's a big chance. Everyone think so welcome to startup. I wonder it's I travel a lot to Korea and Japan, uh, US. I feel it's difference like between China and Japan, uh, Korea. Most of Chinese people are now very very welcome and open to go to the startup instead of going to like internet company. That's a big trend. That's a good moment that all these kind of events was hold talking about targeted startup enterprise uh, entrepreneurship. So we should give big applause to the IDE and to MIT and uh, also the all the organizer here. It's really good moments. Today I'm going to talk about the uh, AI. Talk about what I'm doing. Uh, the topic will be connected to intelligent life. First, I want to say. When I was in Baidu, um, I worked there for uh, three years. So before Baidu, I worked in Microsoft Research, part targeting working on human computer interaction and AI. When I was in Baidu, actually we actually promote the Baidu brand a lot to actually leverage the AI technology, whatever CV, computer vision, NLP, natural language processing, to create different gadgets to make the robots all around, all around the human life. So, for example, I remember the competition have one of the projects talking about the blind eye. Uh, it's very related to one of the projects we did in Baidu. Uh, the name called Dolight. If you can download in iOS and uh, Android, you can see it. We have now 80,000 user blind people in China keeping daily using that. It's using computer vision and natural language processing to try to have dialogue with the blind people and understanding the real world, indexing the real world. So, besides Dolight, we have done there we also invent the Baidu Eye, which is kind of an extension of your human um, uh, brain and also the human computer vision to try to index in the real world for commercialize uh, the data. And also do, uh, do bike and the autonomous driving car you have seen and also know from a lot of media and also well covered by MIT Tech Review a lot of time. Let's see where we are now. Everyone now holds mobile phone as their organ they are in our pocket. So that's the real situation every day in my daily life. Um, it's very interesting. We're actually moving from PC area now to mobile internet area. And also, we can see so many startups now in this form, in this competition, are focusing on mobile internet service provider. They're actually giving us all the time, but actually giving us bad side. So we always keeping watching at the glasses, watching a small bundle to engage with information instead of talking with my friend around me, instead of interacting with the you know, physical world, interacting with the real emotional world. Where are we going to? That's a big target we are focusing on in our company and in the whole society at this moment. Because we can see computer generation from a big size PC to actually a small size laptop, then go to a very small, go to a pocket, onto your waist. But next generation we'll see computer will ubiquitous. Everything will be intelligent. It's a big trend. No one can actually deny and reject for that. But we can see what's the chance for us as a startup. You can see that in PC area, startup are generation from like the jobs and Bill Gates. Um, we're talking about all the stuff also in, on the top line is the Chinese um, company and the CEO, the, the bottom line is the international. So we can see we're moving from PC startup to internet startup. That's a big trend when in China, a lot of, lot of great opportunity for internet young generation to jump into this uh, new business and work really high revenge of the successfully, like BAT, we call it Baidu, Alibaba, and the Tencent. That's really actually we moved from, I moved from Microsoft to Baidu in 2014 for, uh, for the new uh, business, for AI for Baidu. Um, and also we can see after the internet, we also now jumped into the mobile service uh, startup. You can see in China we have a lot of DD and the Jingri Toutiao, these things are at your new indexing world after BAT. But also it happened in, in even actually, um, build the company Snapchat. Also here at the same time with us as the TR35. That's a new trend. It's just still a very high 
uh, revenue for uh, the, how do you say, the, the cap for the uh, stock on the mar go to market. The next step, what we are going to be working on is the AI startup. Everyone now here sitting here has a chance to jump into this new big opportunity. Let's talk about what we are. Uh, we are actually named the company called Lean. Uh, the way we actually found this company is feel the trend as I just described. But also we can see we have a very interesting Chinese way to actually think about the philosophy for making robots. We think in the very long time period on, uh, a war, uh, forward, we can see every small gadget, every physical object will be a robot. That's how can we actually put in the force of link into different robots? Makes it real intelligent because you now see many robots are not really that intelligent. Uh, you can see DAPA and also the big challenge in Dropbox area has always sucked. But actually, we want to do is try to how to mimic the human and really not only the human but also animals to actually create the force of link into the robots. Um, we see many movies and talking about AI and, uh, and the robotics. Uh, like the Jarvis in, in I Am and also her and uh, Bamamix. I want to see this very interesting destination we are targeting at. What we want to do is also facing on these two directions. One is we call Jarvis or her. It's a destination of home AI and personal AI. But that's actually another way we call the Bamamix as a destination. We're focusing on how to create a play AI or kids AI. That's a two destination for our company in the very beginning to go on this stage. Um, that's a big kind of sentence that I really like. We actually want to make it better to adapt the technology into the people instead of to force people to adapt the technology. That's the key set we are targeted at, how to create the interaction more better, engage with the user and the machines. Um, I just mentioned the mobile internet, so actually everyone keep looking at that, the mobile phone. It's really stuck. But actually, how can we really make all the objects can feel, can sense, can interact, can really like an animal or human to talk with you? We see actually we are on the big stage on a big trend. We're moving from the com common command line interface creating a PC, but also GUI actually creating a lot of big chunks for internet, uh, Intel and uh, Microsoft. And we also see uh, Steve Jobs had create a touch interface to jump us into a new generation of AI. Then actually we see, when I was in Microsoft, we explore a lot of natural user interface, whatever gesture, speech, but actually now we feel that the new generation, the conversational-based AI will be reinvent the world. We see the Alexa, we see the Google Home, it's a new chance to actually jump into the new. But not only the gadgets in the physical world, but also the dialogue, chit chat with the service. Uh, the same like information and the service will be connected with human, whatever it's a web or app, but we are talking about next. So that's the reason, in my mind actually, it's these three are very important. One is wearable, that's what I, Invent, when you buy do it's by the why. But now we are keeping them more on the go. But second is making all the objects on the daily life to be a robot, including autonomous driving. Um, we all know if it's not AlphaGo, the AI will not that popular <laughs> to be everyone. Thanks for AlphaGo. But actually, on the other side, we should actually say that all the AI technology is not that mutual enough, not that certificate, all the uh, needs for the human life, especially for some, uh, not only productivity, but also entertainment. I will say these three are very key sets when we are facing to how to make AI solve problem, because internet is basement, and AI just is a way to solve the problem. Also, it's a basement. It's not the uh, application. We need to find the core killing ap application for AI. Assistant system, um, autonomous driving, they are, these are good and big market, but what we want to do beside this. Uh, we can see uh, this big data learning algorithm will be a big revolutionary uh, to talking about we not only collect the data but also processing a lot and try to make this useful for different diversity. And uh, as we all know, big, big improvement in the past five years is deep learning. It's really a game changer for this new AI trend. Uh, so, as my mind, we are going to face into the new world, less pixel within the border. More and more information goes around and uh, ubiquitous around us. 
Second part is more narrative and the context when you have dialogue with machine, have interaction with a lot of people when through some devices. But also it's an interesting camera computing. You don't need to actually very, very focusing on some small border of the information, but actually everything goes by through like a flow. More data, definitely. That's the, our actually lean component from this vision. We're moving from Internet of Things to our core intelligence of things that everyone now focusing on. But I will say the key things in here is try to define the in infinite of the robots. That's what we are trying to do. But everyone are talking about AI first, definitely. We see that Echo successful in US in the previous one year. Uh, many uh, uh, millions of units are sold in the market. But actually, I will see this is just a feature level. We see the feature from, uh, from functional as this kind of VUI, voice UI. But actually, more than that, like the smartphone in mobile area, what we can see here in this VUI generation. We found this small cute guy, uh, Jibo. Uh, it's also very related to MIT because it's from S Professor Cynthia Bradillo. We actually investment this company um, this round as the leading investor. And uh, we have a collaboration with Jibo, uh, try to make the localization in China as well as the next second generation of this product. We can see the difference here. Jibo is kind of trying to engage with you more than just a tool. That's an interesting point. It's actually, that's represent a lot for about, we are talking about the force of link. Try to have more way, multi-modality interaction with different kind of people. It is the family member, not only just a tool at your home, and try to have more possibility to engage your every moment in your home. Besides Jibo, we are now working on, it's a good news that this year, Jibo are going to, on the market, everyone will have, will have, have have the possibility to buy it and, and engage with it. Besides Jibo, we have another lots of this kind of trials and uh, products we are now working on. We, as a link, have now four different kind of domains working on. We have social robot, Jibo is one of it, but also service robot, movable service robot. Uh, besides the robot we have now working on Waveboard, but also we investment uh, Nightscope, which is a Silicon Valley based company. You can see uh, some of them in, in San Francisco shopping mall. But also we can see uh, a kids product. We built, a, we built several kids product for targeted what I mentioned, destination is BMX, but actually on the way, play AI and kids AI. And also some lifestyle products as well. I will do some quick, but not in go to in details about these, these things. Jibo, as you know, that's an interesting member in our daily life. But also the waveboard, as I mentioned, uh, it's more like for shopping mall, uh, more like for um, a, a, a airport and all the big public place for information engagement. And also we have our own uh, investment, this company as well, we do the hard software, the company do the hardware called uh, Crazy Baby, uh, Mars, it's doing the uh, the mechanism part of the speaker, and uh, you have tried to using the speech as similar like the Echo does in US. Um, one more is ear, is what I mentioned is her scenario. I did by the way in Vital, but now to try to engage with uh, more flexible devices with the voice driven interaction when you uh, go outside on the go. And also talking about the uh, kids AI or play AI, we build this stuff, cute guy called the, uh, Luca now, the new name for this one. Uh, it's a picture book reader. I can tell the story based on the picture book you are reading through the uh, kids to uh, uh, learning how to read the paper. It's a computer vision to directly using the technology to engage with the child. Another one is uh, Obi. It's kind of an interesting eye protect uh, screen. It's a round screen, slow, but also it's project screen. Try to engage with the kids with the small as well. The obby is the one creation living in this crystal ball. Uh, you can check actually more information about this kind of product in our company's website called link.ai. We are now working a big chunk of the different kind of hardware because I already know hardware is not the pure things. The back of the stuff, the platform software is the key things. We try a different kind of scenario. We try a different kind of domain of the robots to go to the market. So we think it makes our life unplugged possible with these kind of gadgets, with this kind of new creation. They are not only gadgets, not only, not only the tools, they are creations. It makes everything to be robot with eye, air, and brain through our technology. 
but also we try to make human some impossible possible, it involving keeping evolving with human. That's actually I want to say uh, in the end that it's an interesting topic that uh, Ling is the word as we from Chinese uh, subscriber of the philosophy we call it everything should have Ling in the very beginning like the plants like animals. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with that uh, screen, but actually it's moving a little bit. So we think all of the life have the surprise, and uh, we take time to appreciate. So we try. That's all. Actually, the philosophy we are now uh, more uh, thinking about the link should creation a lot of different spiritual, spiritual beings around us, uh, not only some devices tools around us. Can you help me? We have two page. I have two page to present. Okay, thank you. Um, this kind of intelligence, uh, spiritual, will be very important for us to think, uh, to engage, to play with, to have productivity as well on these devices. Uh, we try to make this as a big, um, uh, how to say, uh, a mark to present to these things. So we have now uh, 160 people are now working in Beijing, Shenzhen, Silicon Valley. Um, hoping to create a big world uh, to have more presentation to you guys later on. So this is our email. If you feel interested, also contact with me. Thank you. Uh